The city's holidays are like the city itself. People from a thousand nations coming together to create something new. These days remind humanity that even when all seems lost, there is always a chance for joy. Now, as the year turns, the city celebrates with gifts and games. And guardians unite in the spirit of competition, pushing one another to become legends. Just for a moment, there's peace, harmony, hope. This is the dawning. It is a time to honor all that humanity has built and all that it will create. And rejoice in the light. Hello fellow Guardians, Bolt Cell Plays here, bringing you another Destiny video. It is December 13th, and the dawning event is live. We're going to check out what the tower has, and how everything's changed. So nothing different with that, but there are lanterns flying around. It's all festive, there's actually snow. And I think we will... Let's start this way. We'll start over in the tower north and work our way across. So with the dawning event, SRL is back. Um, everything lasts until January 3rd. So we got SRL and then strike scoring has been implemented. So we will start with checking out the speaker. So with the update today, subclass class items have been added to the speaker. So if you've gotten these out of the quests, you can buy them here if you get rid of them. That's the uh, each subclass one. So, like for Hunter, you'll have a Gunslinger, a Blade Dancer, and a Night Stalker. Uh, we'll run over to Eva now, see what she's got. She's got a quest. So we're the delivery boy, it looks like. So happy dawning, Guardian. I've been so distracted. Okay, so we accept quests. Nothing different in her stock. Uh, let's see here. We got shaders. So we got new SRL shaders. We got candy apple. Which is going to be all red. We got Midas, which is gold. Oasis, Solarize, Orangish, Magma, and Ghost. Those are the new ones for SRL. You can get them from the playlist. Right? Well, okay, this one is C license. Playlist plays playlist. S license and playlist. And we also have a couple down here for holidays. So this is if you get a full set of the dawning armor, these are the crazy antler looking ones. Once you get a full set, you're able to get this the sun glow. And we have a white tiger, which is from Complaining Vanguard Elite. Which is either a quest or that looks familiar. That looks like the uh, one from, where is it? The old guard. Looks similar to the old guard. Okay, so they're giving an option for something, bringing back something slightly different, but for people who can't get it anymore. Earn from Competitive Spirit Record Book. Earn from Competitive Spirit. So this is the record book, the new record book. Oh, they both look exactly the same. Why does this one show yellow? Is this one glitched? This looks exactly the same, does it not? Yeah, it must be glitched. Um, yeah, interesting. So then we got emblems. Let's see what's new for emblems. Oh, wait, there's one right there. So we got an SRL one from the record book. 
and Star Dawn, which is also from the record book. And some new SRL ones. Okay, so it looks like you get ones from each track. Random drops from each track, it looks like. Maybe you win, you get it. And we got this one right here, a holiday one. Reward from Crucible Playlist. Swords of Dawn. The holiday items kiosk has been upgraded to add racing suits. I do not like the looks of this as this isn't showing that I have it, even though I have the volume one record book completed. Hmm. That might be something that has to be brought up. I have this. So is this, is the old stuff not connected to this anymore? Because I have this one. And it doesn't have my... It's all got... Okay, so these all got stats. But this had stats last year. I actually have this one. Racer's Scarf. Is this different? Speeder Scarf. Okay, they named it differently. Okay. So it's different names. This is the year... So yeah, this is all year two. Rise of, uh, Rise of Iron stuff. Season two. Well, this is the old stuff, too. So it looks like, because I deleted this when they gave the stock to Amanda Holiday, so hopefully I can purchase it from Amanda Holiday and get it back in the record book. Otherwise, I'm going to be emailing Bungie about that, because I paid for that record book. I'm going to lose the rewards after they said I could repurchase this. I'm going to be bummed. Okay, um, we are going to check out everything. I remember in the video scene, so there's the snow angel. No robot, though. Where's the robot? Ooh, what's he got? Hey, buddy. What do you got there? Ooh, what do I do with it? I don't know what I'm doing with it, though. We got a lantern we can pick up. Where do I go with it though? Where'd that other guy go? Can I drop it and come back? Okay, so it just takes off. I wonder if you need that for anything. So I hit triangle to do that. It just floats up. So there's a lantern up there you can take. I don't know if it's if that's all you're supposed to do with it, or if something else is supposed to happen. We'll find out later. If anything else happens with it, I'll make sure to make a video on it. Uh, here are all the presents. So a strange gift, a strange gift, dawning, gift dawning, gift dawning, gift dawning. Requires there's take. And this thing, still insane. Okay, so three strange coins, a strange coin, armor materials, a colorful scarf, and a bag of dice. Weapon parts. Hey, how'd this open? Oh, okay. Weapon parts. So this one opened when I was over here. Weird. Let's go over here. So the gunsmith should have the legendary special weapon. Yep. So you can repurchase your legendary special weapon for each class if you deleted it. What do you have Nothing changed with the crypt arc. The sweeper is over here for some reason. Let's head down here. The servants of the hive watch the darkness. Okay. You killed the king. 
<laughs> Control. So that changed this morning. It was supremacy this morning. Interesting. Unless it never reset. Maybe it was supremacy last week. No, it was Rift last week. Um, double check everywhere that nothing's hiding. They didn't sneak anything anywhere. I know they snuck something somewhere else that I will show, but... Nothing snuck in there. Okay. I will uh, give them their presents. She's given her a book. And that's it. See you around, Dice, eh? And six. That's snake eyes, two sixes, and two threes. Try again. Snake eyes, two sixes, and two threes. Very nice of you. Very nice of you. Give Cade some dice. So she gave him a scarf. And then he's got new quests for us. So the first one is variations on a theme. Complete the Shadow Strikes Thief Strike. So I don't know if it's just that one or if it's because they're all the new strikes. Let's get complete a Vanguard Weekly Elite Bounty in any Rise of Iron Strike playlist. These bounties are available from Commander Vizalala. So it's these guys. So these are the new weekly bounties for the strikes. So we have earn gold tier achieve, silver tier achieve, or bronze tier achieved medals. You need nine of them. And you get 200 rep, a legendary item, and marks. Back to the fight. Legendary weapon and marks. So earn a gold tier achieved medal in the nightfall before time expires. I think this is the one that could give you the icebreaker because it's talking about nightfall. You have your Rapidly earn primary, special, or heavy streak medals to earn rainbow medals. That gives you a legendary item. We will head back to. We'll turn in that quest quick. See what we get out of it. Make sure, I got enough room for everything so I don't accidentally lose anything. Okay, so those boxes refresh every day. So I wonder if the rewards will get better every day. So we got a snow drag, so that's a snowman drag head. And then we have a Felwinter souvenir, which is a giant engram, clear engram in your head that makes your head like a snow globe. check out the other side down in the hangar actually we got this stuff to do first there's a new kiosk here it's a silver dust store so this is where you can purchase stuff for silver dust so you can just outright purchase instead of Zer selling these two at a time you can outright purchase them from here the new ones are not part of this yet though so they'll probably become part of this when the dawning disappears. And you can also now purchase with Silver Dust last year's Sparrows for SRL. So as you can see, I'm missing 
Well, what's this? Light oh, Light Runner was the one that came out of the horns. So you got it's a little bit more than the rest. These are all the ones from last year, it looks like. Well, this one isn't. You can outright purchase Gellerwing, which was already part of it. Let's see what Tess Everest has. Let's see if I can help you. Okay, so we got under feature, we got Treasure of the Dawning. You can get one for 200, you can get three for 500, or five for 800. These have, ooh, so these are, what are these? Are these the masks? What is a Scarlight mask? Oh, so this is the the year one rares that came back as legendaries with ornaments. This was actually, I believe, PlayStation exclusive rares that no one really knew about because no one hung on to rares. By the time you found them, you were already on the legendary stuff. And then we got the sparrows look like they all come from Treasures of Dawning. So we got the Firefly. Are they all the same perks? Yep, all the same perks. Bitfire. So this has got the same texture stuff as the one they had for Festival of the Lost. Looks like that's what all these are. So a Bitstorm Lightning one, which I kind of like. King's Touch, that's the all gold one. We got Phantasm. Mirage. Sunstroke, Lava Bird, and the Prismatica. Oh, that one changes colors as you go. It's all different colors. Then all these are guaranteed. So you'll get a guaranteed one of these. A sparrow or part of the armor set. You'll get guaranteed ornament. I hope it's one of these and one of these, not just one or the other. So we'll have to go down to the kiosk, actually down back to kiosk and check out all these ornaments. So we got Red Death, Last Word, Icebreaker, Black Spindle, and Thorn. I don't think we'll be able to check out Black Spindle. And then these, this is the Dawning armor sets. So you got possible of getting these, possibility. Christmassy. I really like this cloak though. It's got the Tanix like top and everything, but then horns are a possibility too. So let me. That's Remix. This is Campfire. A whistle. It's like a train whistle. Dramatic. <laughs> Bellow Frame House So, okay, that's like uh, Archon's Forge Alarm Bell A Noisy and sparkle. Ooh. It's an odd number though. It's kind of interesting. And you can also get so if you collect the full set of armor in one class you get the shader we looked at and you get a sparrow. That's a pretty cool looking sparrow. Now this changed, I don't think anything changed in Radiant Treasures, did it? Nope. Radiant Treasures is still the same. New dances. So we got the Suave dance. That's the Deej dance. <laughs> we got the Thunder dance. The Tiny dance. <laughs> I 
No, you didn't. <laughs> Graceful steez. Is that dabbing? That's dabbing, isn't it? Pew pew. <laughs> Mix it up. <laughs> what the? Waving taunt. Oh, you can't see me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Score. Touchdown. And these are all the old ones, right? Yep, okay. Okay. We'll go check out the weapon ornaments. And we'll head to the tower hangar. Nothing's different here, is there? No, we checked that already, didn't we? Check to make sure nothing's popping up. Missing it in armor? No. So if there's anything new armor-wise, it's hidden. And okay, the heavy machine guns are hidden. There's nothing shown here. The icebreaker is not. These are the raid guns. I think that's all I was missing. That's the other sword that I haven't done yet. So yeah, the new heavy machine guns are hidden by the looks of it. The variations of the Thunderlord. See it? Yeah. That's the icebreaker most likely. Because I don't think there's anything else. Okay, so new ornaments. Last words got ornaments. Sequel? Just a worn out gun it looks like. And an addendum. Silver with a little bit of gold on it looks like. Nothing too fancy for the last word. You got red death. So you got the white version with blood all over it. White witch. And then the steel witch. It's just the dark doubt, like goth gothic type of look. What else were the other ones? Thorn. We got Rows of Acid. And we got Rows of Corruption. That one's kind of cool. It adds spikes to it, too. That's what, three? And we got Icebreaker, which you can't look at. And then what was the other one? Oh, yeah, the black spindle. Regabone? I think it's the white for bones. And Cold Between Stars is a Taken version. That's kind of cool. And that is it, correct? Yeah, I believe so. Well, I'll head to the tower hangar and see what's down there. I know Amanda Holiday will have a quest for us for SRL. This is all done up like it was last year, it looks like, with the SRL flags, the sparrows, and the people working on it. Vanguard Quartermaster. Now trade sells Worm Spore, which it did before, which is nice. So if you're on Worm Spore, you can actually just trade Legendary Marks if you got excess marks. Magna Holiday. We got Spare Racing Quest. It's the same as last year, it looks like, with just different rewards. The SRL rank disappeared, which sucks because I was right on the verge of ranking up. <laughs> we got the bounties again, so complete 10, 10 other SRL bounties. 
Doesn't tell you how much standing you can get for it, though. That automatically completed. Awesome. Complete a race without your sparrow being destroyed. Finish SRL races in the top three places. And complete laps in less than two minutes. So they're like the same bodies as last year. The SRL gear that's available from her is at rank three an overtaker helmet. Which gives you... Ooh, there's ornaments on this one. Okay. So it's got... It's a, it's a normal helmet type setup, but it's also got one perk that's towards Sparrow Racing. So re, this one is Fast Enter. Reduce your time needed to summon Sparrow. And the ornaments. So there's SRL Champion Ornaments. Uh, okay, the thing comes off. The, the ornaments are the little wings come off, I guess. My hood goes up. I'm confused. Helm of the Jade Rabbit. Oh, it changes them to the... Okay. So you get the Overtaker. So they put all three... They had three different helmets last year that you could get in drops and stuff. And they made them all into one. So you can change it based on... Okay, that's interesting. Because I actually have two of them here. So I have the Bright Shield. And the Helmet Jade Rabbit. Which they look the same... But they had different coloring and stuff. Like, I kept the armor for the Jade Rabbit. Because they had more coloring to it than the other ones by a little bit. Um, I do not see my momentum gear. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely reach out to Bungie about that one and complain that I was told I could get rid of it because I could rebuy it from Amanda Holiday, and now I can't. It disappeared with this. Hopefully, if they don't just give it back, that it comes back after this event's done. I can turn this in, so let's see what we get for it. 500 rank? Okay. So I'm halfway through rank zero now. <laughs> and these are all daily? Or was that a weekly? I'm not sure if these are daily or weekly. I'm going to assume daily. The 10 one, I think, was a weekly one. Um, ships, I do not believe there's any new ships with this event. Not seen anything. Sparrows we already saw what was purchasable. Let's make sure there's nothing different. Nothing extra. Doesn't look like it unless there's a What's this guy? Poison apple. Completing speed kills. There's a poison apple one. So this is a unique promotional one for Speed kills. I don't see speed kills. Or is that a record book? I'll check the record book for that. Um, and then if you come over here, and this I was made aware of right there, is a treasure box here for one who stood at Bannerfall. So we'll have to figure out what that is. Once I figure out what that means, I can get it open. You sh make sure to check back to my channel, and I will tell you, show you off what it is, how to get it, and so on. And then the only other thing I believe is there is two emotes they gave to us for free. We have proposal, which is a wedding proposal. This was uh, something I put in the game for. I think it was someone who worked at Bungie or something that proposed to his wife through the game because they played together and they met through Destiny or something like that. And there's also Woe there. So those two are free. They gave it to us for free. Uh, other than that, we'll go through the record book quick. Break the seal. I should have done this first. So at rank two, you can get the emblem. At rank three, you'll get an SRL champions ornament. Three of them. Okay. Rank four, you'll get the Horfrost Armor Shader. Rank five, you'll get Amanda's tag. Okay, so this is how you open up the big presents. So you get Amanda's tag. Rank five. At rank six, you'll get a good game.
Rank 7, you'll get Zur's Tag. I'm assuming the Zur Tag one is probably the one they showed off in the video where Eng Exotics Engrams dropped out of it. Uh, rank 8, you'll get the EV31 Nightbird. So it's a black with flame version. Looks just like the the blue with one they gave after they brought tricks in the game back in year one. Rank nine, you'll get Saladin's tag, so that'll open up the last big present. Rank ten, you get Dawn's return emblem. I wonder if these emblems look right in here. No, they are identical. I wonder if that's a glitch or. They are like identical, it looks like. Okay, the shirt inside is different. But other than that. But which makes no sense. This is shows a white and blue, but half of it is yellow. So I wonder if something got screwed up. And then at rank 11, you get Star of the Dawn emblem. And then there's two pages. Yep. So we got Sparrow Racing is one page. So you have to complete 25 Sparrow Races. You have to pass through 1,000 gates. You have to land 100 tricks. You have to defeat 50 enemies. So that's running over the Vex and stuff. Red Racer. So beat the par race time. Okay, so these are all beating 5.5 minutes on each track. So that's not too bad. Then Vanguard Elite. So this is the strike score and stuff. So beat the par score in the Heroic Siva Crisis Strike Playlist. So high score is 40,000. So you gotta get over 40,000 for that one. Champion of the Night, beat the par score for the Nightfall Strike, which is 55,000. Uh, scores of scores, earn cumulative score in Iron Rise of Iron Strike Playlist. So just get up to half a million points total throw multiple strikes, and then Bounty Hunter. Complete Vanguard Elite Bounties. You need to complete 20 of the weekly bounties from Zavala. So that one's going to take a while, unless... Because those were weekly. I think all three of them are weekly. Weekly, weekly, weekly. So it's going to take seven weeks. Oh, no, they'll stack, so... No, if you do all three characters three times, three of them on three characters, yeah, you can get it done before the event's done. We got pot of gold, so rapidly earn primary, special, or heavy streak medals to earn rainbow medals in Rise of Iron Strike playlist. Five times, five rainbow medals. Killing spree, earn spree medals in Rise of Iron Strike playlist. Two hundred fifty of them, and earn super medals in the Rise of Iron Strike playlist. So fifty super medals, and then earn twenty completion medals in Rise of Iron Strike playlist. Not a whole lot in here. We'll, we'll see once strike scoring, everyone gets into strike scoring, how hard or easy this stuff is to actually do. I have a feeling that with a good team, it'll probably be a lot like how they did Prison of Elders, the Challenge of Elders and everything. Uh, so that looks like everything that's updated in the tower. And we will check out the other social spaces. For sure, I know there's an update to Brother Vance, so we'll go check him out now. So we're here at the Reef. Uh, there's two items we'll check out here. Petra's got an update. So she now offers more bounties to help rank up Queen's Rest, since now it does drop armor sets that can be infused. So she's got Queen's Armor you can infuse. So now she's got double the amount of bounties. So this week she's got uh, Kill the Blade Descendant. So that's a similar one she always offered. Uh, kill 12 Consumed. That's similar. Kill 100 Taken. So the, the first three look like they're going to be the same sets as what she already offered. And this is where it gets different. The next three are new ones. Or possibly from the year one events. I don't even remember what the year one ones were anymore. But we got Queen's Grace, which is generate 15 orbs of light in any strike playlist. And we got Queen's Harvest, gather 15 dark nuclei from majors or ultras in any strike playlist. 
So this is probably something if you have this bounty, it's going to drop the additional things. Kind of like when you had certain quests, like for killing Fallen and taking Fallen or whatever, it would drop that stuff while you were out and about. These are all both strike playlists. And then Queen's Eye. Kill 30 taken with precision shots. So headshots. Okay. So we have 500, 250, 250. So these are all the same amounts. And she had extra ones that give you not as much, but it's still it's better than nothing. So technically now per week you can get another 325 Queen's Wrath compared to what you could before. So it's still not a huge jump, but it's a little bit helpful if you're trying to get a full set of Queen's Armor. And then Brother Vance is the other change in the reef. So he now offers a material exchange. For one mode of light, you can get a passage coin. So if you're low on passage coins, now you don't have to do playlists or anything again. And I must have been... We'll have to double check this on Friday and make sure nothing else pops up, but I thought they were going to do it the other way around too, where you can change in your passage coins for stuff. Cause I have so many passage coins I don't, I'm never gonna use. I have like 300 some, and I don't do this enough where I use the passage coins and everything to make it worthwhile. But at least for now, this helps the people who are short on passage coins that they don't have to do like the daily every day to get a passage coin and so on. So that was the social space updates for. That came out with the dawning event. Um, the dawning event itself lasts until January 3rd. Um, like I said, I will be making more videos through this all. I'll get the sparrow races up. I'll get some of the strikes, new strikes up. I'm working work on that. Uh, the hidden banner fall present. Once that's figured out, I'll get that up. Yeah, so just keep an eye on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash C slash plays. Thank you for checking out the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, Guardians.